It's Sunday, June 18th, 2023. You guessed it, it's Father's Day. And this video is dedicated to my dad. Pompano Brownie uh, is what you know him by, but I knew him as Howard Brown. And a lot of people on the channel think that I'm Pompano Brownie, and I am not. I am uh, just his son. Uh, and here's the real hero that gave me all the knowledge that I try to give to you guys and gals and help you on the beach when you're surf fishing. I want to tell you a little bit about the man. We're dedicating this whole video just to my dad. And uh, here's a picture that I use on the channel and it shows him catching a pompano, of course. And uh, if you go back in time, he's a guy that uh, I always idolized. He he always beat the odds. Here he is, a uh, little bit of a rebel on an old Indian motorcycle. And, uh, you know, he really had all the odds against him. His mother died when he wasn't even finished with high school. His dad was an alcoholic, and he worked around the clock in his dad's gas station. His dad even had the bright idea of uh, staying open 24 hours and, uh, when my dad asked him, geez, dad, how are we going to do that? He said, well, you're going to sleep here at the station. So, you know, he had, he had a tough life. Before that, he, uh, he ended up in a foster home with his brother because uh, his father wasn't around to take care of him. And, you know, he spent a few years in a foster home until he uh, got enough money and uh, was able to get an apartment with his uh, older brother. But you know, there is, uh, there is the man back in his prime. I would imagine he's probably about uh, 20 years old in that picture, maybe 25, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a pretty cool picture. Here's a picture I wanted to show you because it has special meaning to me. Uh, my dad is sitting in a chair that I built and a house that I built. And he's the guy that inspired me to take on projects that seemed large in scale. He was afraid of nothing. I watched him as a kid build an addition on a house, and I was amazed at all of the things he did, and he had never done them before, but he did his research, and I don't think I would have had the courage to build furniture and build a house unless it were for him. The guy, like I said, had no fear at all. Here's a, a picture of Dad after he had moved to Florida. We were, uh, we were living in central New York, and... Uh, my wife and I advised him maybe it would be a good time to go live in Florida and he wouldn't have to endure the winters, and he sure liked the idea. Uh, the more you know about my dad, the more you know that uh, what he enjoyed in life most was fishing, hunting, and he also loved working with horses. Um, here's a picture of him. They made him a caretaker of the year at Vernon Downs, and that meant an awful lot to him. He didn't have a lot of money, and, uh, you know, after... Uh, a great career as a meat manager for PNC Food Markets. He scraped up enough money to buy a claimer horse and uh, one of his proudest moments, without a doubt. And he always had a saying that I never forgot. He would say that fishing and hunting are good medicine. And if you're really concentrating on what you're doing, you have no time to think about life's stress. And it's true. You're enjoying yourself doesn't matter what's going on in the business world around you. Uh, so he uh, started out, you know, modestly. You can tell this is an old picture because if you look closely at the reel, it's a, a spinner reel. And eventually he realized he had to use a conventional reel to get out there farther. But this is a nice hog whiting, as he would say it, uh, that he caught on the beach. And probably my favorite fish to eat and his as well. You know, the, the whole point of this video is to give you the best fishing tip that you'll ever get in your life. And that tip is to fish with your dad if you can, if he's still alive. I, I had a plan when I was uh, getting ready to retire. I retired on December 5th of 2014. And... Uh, I looked forward to fishing with my dad every day in retirement. I uh, bought a house only a few blocks away from him, 
and I couldn't tell you how excited I was to be able to fish with him. Now, I, I did fish with him every year when I was on vacation, but only for uh, a week or two, as long as I was in Florida. And uh, so 2014 was a big year for me, and it was also uh, a time in my life when I realized that everything changes. And Dad had other plans. He decided that... Uh, he couldn't hang out past 2015 on Labor Day, uh, September 7th. He left this world, and boy, oh boy, did I wish I paid more attention to uh, everything he taught me about fishing. And uh, I had to scour all of my notes. The bottom line here is fish with your dad. Here's, here's two guys that probably fished with my dad way more than I did, and that's my brother-in-law on the left, Mike, and that's my nephew, his son, Chris, on the right. And both fantastic fishermen, and they have fished a lot of days together. I, I wish I had that under my belt that I could say that I fished that much with my dad. But I will be thankful for the time that we spent together on the beach. I remember uh, maybe four or five years before he died, he was really having trouble on the beach with his cart. By the time you had all of the gear and sinkers and ice with coolers, you know, you got a big load. So I think it was 2012, I made him a electric fishing cart that I converted from a hover around wheelchair. I think it really helped him that last three years of his fishing life, get him out on the beach and he was Deathly afraid of it when uh, he first started using it, but he got used to it quickly. And uh, you could always uh, tell when Pompano Brownie was on the beach because he had that fancy electric fishing cart. I was pretty proud of that. And, uh, you know, I, I wish that he could have used it a little bit longer, but he couldn't. And uh, now that he's in heaven, I'm sure this is probably where he's hanging out on the beach. I'm, I hope heaven has a nice beach for him to fish on and some nice woods to hunt in. Uh, you never know. He could be doing something else. Maybe he decided that he was going to give that old Indian motorcycle another run for its money. But whatever he's doing, I hope he's happy. And someday we'll reunite and get to talk a little bit more. Here's a picture that I'll always treasure. This is me with my boys. Uh, on the far left is my son Mason, that's me, uh, then my dad next to me, and my oldest son Ryan. And it's not too often that uh, people who live in different states get to hang out together for the day, and that was a, that was a good day for me. And here is, uh, here's another picture of me and my boys when we were at uh, Disney. This was actually about a month before COVID started. We had no idea we had planned this reunion, and uh, little did we know that we were probably at the, uh, the the best place on earth right before we were going to be quarantined for a couple of years. So, uh, another great picture there. And you know, I think I think that's going to do it. I I just wanted to dedicate this to my dad. Uh, I, I can't send him a card. I think the postage might get a little pricey, but I know he's watching down over me, and I hope he is proud of me for the channel and trying to help all the newbie fishermen out there on the beach. Some of the fishermen out there don't like to share their trade secrets, and my dad never believed in that. He always told me, Jim, there's nothing new under the sun, so there's no reason to guard any secrets. Anything that we thought we invented was probably invented, you know, way before we were even put on this earth. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you take my advice. Go fishing with your dad while you can. Take it from a guy who knows. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Okay, we're rolling. <laughs> it's February 24, 2006. And I need a haircut real bad. <laughs> it's a take. <laughs> Take. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. What's your name? 
She Joni was, Brown. She don't want to hang on to me anymore, she says. <laughs> How many pompano did you catch today, Dad? Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Okay. Yeah, that's a wrap.